Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. This is our Let's Play The Sims Mobile episode 13. Yes, that's the shower running in the corner because Icon is taking a bath. He's already out of bed, but Pecan is still asleep because she's quite heavy. She's due to have a baby today and she already has a baby in the nursery. So I've gone baby crazy as you can see from the thumbnail. And the reason for this is I'm going to have a 100 baby challenge. This sim you see lying here, this beautiful damsel, is going to give me 100 babies and I will retire those babies and get the heirlooms that I need. So I'm going to hang on to her because I've become seriously attached. So let's begin our day and let's see how much fun we can have having a ton of babies. <laughs> Okay, so now she's out of bed. I'm going to get her to do some stretches. She is supposed to be one of my healthiest sims ever. <laughs> Look at that tummy. <laughs> and I can only imagine that she can't seem to get these stretches done right because of that heavy bump. But we're still going to do what we can to make sure that she stays as healthy as possible because she will be having 100 babies. I think she can do it. She's physically fit, she's beautiful, and her husband is completely intoxicated by her. <laughs> okay, let's just meditate one more time. And also, I get to host a party today, and you do realize that twice over now, ever since I started these parties, the coin glitch has always worked. So this would be the third time round, and I'm going to see if it will work at all. Um, so we're not going to find that out in this video, obviously. <laughs> It'll be in the next episode that I'll be able to tell if it worked. But for now, we want to get the family up and running for the day so that we can work on these kids that we're about to have. So there he is having a shower. She's just used the toilet. Let's get her to brush her teeth. So this is something I really like with this game at the moment where you can just engage in, you know, mundane activities that are realistic. And there she is really getting in there to the molars back there. And yeah, I think it's just wonderful to play with them like that. It is really like a doll's house. Let's get her to take a soak because her husband's taking a little bit longer in the shower. And this is the thing. I do realize that I'm going to have to create en suites so that there's enough space for everyone uh, and we don't have to wait in line for these facilities look at icon i've worked on him a little now he has completed level 10 in everything uh, and this is what you will find with every sim in this household they are all fully experienced bringing in the money bringing in the cash and the household is quite successful so i could retire him but i will not he will hang around with me for a very long time, uh, but I will be retiring Hazel and Patron. Mm. Not in this episode, no. I will have to age up the kids that are coming into the family. And when they are all aged up and ready to get jobs, I will then retire Hazel here, who's completely uh, maxed out on all her own relationships and jobs and hobbies. I will retire her and Patron and promote the kids that will be up and coming in the family so here's patron he is quite heavy built and definitely so because he works out quite a bit and he's the father of the house and i really like him but you know i have found a way to now hang on to sims but i will you know retire him and hazel unfortunately so taking a look at his resume here and we can see that he is 100 percent complete in everything and he is ready to retire as is Hazel. So as far as all the stories go, we have Soundtrack of the Soul completed and I've got these beautiful items won and bought because of the coins that I have been, you know, able to glitch out of this game. <laughs> and we have the BFFs Forever, a couple of outfits, and we also have another set of outfits from the Mist Connection story. Then we've got these ones as well and quite frankly, I don't really see these items as, uh, you know, outstanding. I really think that it would have been nice to have something really profound, like a piece of furniture that, you know, is quite lovely that you could place in the house. But they're lovely, and I've got all these items from um, completing these stories. And I am, what, 8 out of 17 stories complete, and that's good. I'm progressing. As far as careers go, I only have five out of seven completed and all these items i do believe need to be put out in your home so purchase them at least and even if there's no space for you to set them down then you can put them in your inventory 
I am just guessing that perhaps if you don't purchase them and you retire the sim then you end up starting the whole process over again and having to wait to unlock those as the sim progresses through that career maybe this isn't the case but because of what happened last time when i retired almond and legend <laughs> i'm trying to be really thorough so you can see that there's a check on everything i've purchased all i need and they're all out in my house but because there isn't that much space i've put some into my inventory so <laughs> i just have to be doubly sure that everything is um secured so this is really important for me so that I don't have to work my way back again. Now I've purchased the piano heirloom because it's a rare one and it came up as a deal and I'm quite happy that my next uh, generation of sims will get to start this actual hobby. Uh, I've already got the keyboard, I think this is a keyboard. <laughs> Uh, and I've changed the color up so that it fits the room and this is what the heirloom looks like. I have mentioned in my Sims Free Play videos that I have access to uh, these grocery shop vouchers that I'm rewarded with and so occasionally I use these vouchers to stock up my iTunes account so that I can make purchases every once in a while. So I was able to get this particular package and I paid three pounds, no, I paid 350 cash uh, for this piano that you see here and the heirloom and so that was quite nice um, and I will be able to from here on out start the hobby and unlock the grand piano well the baby grand piano and then the constant grand piano so I'm looking forward to that and perhaps our little baby in the cot here <laughs> who's already ready to have his birthday great right on time uh, will be the one to get started with that uh, so this is the baby station in this house and I have a beautiful nursery because um, Pekin here is going to be a very very busy woman having a hundred babies as mentioned earlier and this room is going to be quite the space for her to function in so we have baby station in this corner here it's green because a boy is in that cot and the colors will change around as the baby um, gender changes okay so she's done having a bath and I'm going to get her in here so that you can have a look at these toys one of these toys I think it's the bunny came from the bunny event where we got all these beautiful eggs you can hug the bunny and do all kinds of things with the bunny and it has this weird act where you're interacting with it and then it you look away and it, it looks away too and it's a bit creepy <laughs> but this teddy bear here is already in the game you unlock it as you progress and then you have to purchase it uh, and yeah I put this room together in a way that I feel would suit the kids that will keep on coming out of here and there is a belly that you can see protruding <laughs> because I worked that in the create a sim mode section now this is what the heirloom looks like close up it's rare uh, and so far I have four heirlooms I'm not sure how many heirlooms you need to get before you unlock that heirloom display case. I really like the display case, but in all honesty, I don't have any space for it yet. I'm already due to clear two pieces of land and I have access to one more room, but I haven't got the cash. I'm looking forward to starting a party today so that I can get the coins cheap working. I really hope it works. I have strange people walking around my house. I don't know if this is happening to you, but they come in and they hang around and you can't click on them and say leave. And I'm hoping that the developers would do something about that. I also have this guy here as well who just sits down in my house. I mean, Patron has set out breakfast for the family and he's sitting here and um, it's annoying. <laughs> anyway. I need to get this family on their way. Uh, I will have to get her changed out of her pajamas, right? And then set them down to eat. But let's get him to sit down. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. Let's get Icon to sit down at the breakfast table. Just relax for a minute because um, he's already ready. Hazel is done, you know, powder puffing her face. She needs to come in here and sit down as well. You see, I've got strange guests at my table and I think that's just wrong. Okay, I need to get Patron to quickly take a shower because he's just come from running and breaking a sweat on the treadmill. And Pekin needs to get changed into a proper outfit because she's in her pajamas. Does she need a bathroom again? No, I already got her to have a shower no she did have a, a soak she had a soak <laughs> so let's get 
patron to go and get his clothes on because he has now had a shower so he has to go to his bedroom and this is another thing i was hoping that they you know you we could claim spaces but it's not the way it works as it does in sims 4 but i like that you can click on the dresser and customize outfit and that takes you into the creator sim mode and that's wonderful i've clicked on body every time i come in here i click on body because i'm thinking you want to change or dress up the body <laughs> Okay, that's a nice top and I'm just going to put him in a pair of trousers that would go with what he's got up top and then get rid of those ugly trainers. <laughs> this pair of trousers is my favorite and then we just need to change it up so that it works as one outfit with what he's got on already. Yeah, and then shoes, shoes, shoes. This one is my favorite. Oh, I don't like that color and white is too flash. I'm looking at I'm looking at this one here. It's 670 coins. It looks quite mature for him, right? I, I like that. Yeah. I think we'll buy that. We'll spend Yeah, we'll spend some coins on him. He's earned it. He works hard. <laughs> he brings in the money. He's ready. And he needs to sit down and have some breakfast. And then we're just quickly going to come out, come out from there. He's going to quickly sit down and we'll get Pekin to get changed as well. And then I'll send them off to work. So come on, get off your phone and get into your room. <laughs> and then we click on the dresser too. Okay, I'm on patron. There we go. Right, now let's get in and get her nice and dressed. <laughs> I love this whole tummy thing. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Let's get you looking really sweet. I have a top already in mind for you. This one. And let's go for this shade. I've already tried this outfit out on her. So, um, yeah. And then I have a skirt that I got from Izzy's fashion store. It's really beautiful. So I think this works beautifully together. And it sparkles. It's got pink sparkles. And I think it fits her personality. Okay, we need to give her some really beautiful shoes. Let's go for, where is it? Is it up top? down here that one yeah and um, let's go mmm I think she's ready her earrings are silver I want them to be gold we need a bit of bling yeah let's just change that to gold done I won't waste any more time here I think we're ready I could give her a bangle but I'll do that later right Everyone is waiting for you at the breakfast table, so I think it's time to show up, madame, too. Because <laughs> she's got a baby in there. So yeah, let's get her to sit down. Now, of course, you know, you need a different table to actually tap on and have meal together. But I want them sitting at this beautiful table so that um, it's useful. You know, it makes sense to me that they use the actual dining table in the house. Now, as far as friends go, I get a lot of requests asking me to uh, accept friend requests and I have exceeded that. You can see that I am 97. Actually, I'm a bit distracted by the screen here. Let's come out. It's, it's, this angle is good. Okay, let's go back in. <laughs> I'm pernickety like that, but look, I'm full. 97 of 50 friends. And now you're wondering, how did I do that? Well, basically, what happens is sometimes you realize you come into the game and you have a ton of friend requests, right? In the corner here. But in your actual game friend list, it's empty. Whenever that happens, I quickly go over and accept a ton of friends. <laughs> And then when I come back into my friend list, it's only the handful of friends I accepted. And when the game gets its senses together, it adds everything up and I have all these friends. And so it's incredible. And I keep doing this and I'll show you how that's done some other time when I, I, I can. But um, I'm due to host a weekly party and I'm looking forward to getting some extra coins. Okay, I think they're done eating, even though they did not lift a single fork to their mouth. <laughs> so I will stop them all, uh, send off Patron and Hazel, who earn big cash, uh, to work. But first, they must witness the birthday of this beautiful boy. Yes, he is. He is. Look at those cheeks. Oh, he's cute. He's really cute. 
Oh my goodness, do you remember what happened to me when I had um, Pekin as a baby? She was very beautiful. I mean, as a toddler, she was very beautiful. But when she turned into a child, oh, there was a few things that, that went down that was awful. I mean, she stretched out and there were all these horrible glitches in the game. But this boy here is... Uh, look at it. I'm already attached. Here we go. I'm already attached. But bear in mind, I will retire every sim that comes out of Pekin's belly and that will be a hundred of them right now I need to get rid of this bed because sims only woohoo in that bed and I need Pekin and Icon to woohoo in their own bed to have a baby I don't want them jumping into the other bed so I've got patron over here to get to work he has to leave the house space is needed <laughs> And then we need to get Hazel over here as well to get started with a long shift. Let's bring in some money for the day and let's quickly go back home. So now that Hazel and Patron are out of the house, we should be able to have some privacy. <laughs> At least that's what I think. I mean, I have strangers in my house. This is, this is wrong. We should be able to ask them to leave. Well, now it's only their bed that is available. So I now know that when I click on the bassinet, they will have a baby in their own bed instead of Patron and Hazel's. So let's have a baby with Icon. It's going to take 30 minutes. We won't be here the entire time. Don't worry, I have my ways. <laughs> and at least they are in their own bed. So this is good. Now I can go back into my inventory and bring out the lovely bed that was here before and put it back in its place. Uh, initially when they had baby Don, they just jumped into Hazel and Patron's room and I thought that was odd and Hazel was in there, you know, busy with her writing hobby. It was just wrong. You know, I know it doesn't make sense that, you know, we take these things seriously, but we do look at this game as though it was real life. <laughs> Okay, so you do realize that you can fiddle around with the tummy and make a pregnant sim or a not pregnant sim and you just pull the slider back this way and you get the original physique and if you want your sim to be pregnant then pull the slider the other way. Now of course you can work on the body mass as well and make her a lot more plumpier, a lot more cuddlier but I, I just didn't want to fiddle around too much so I just pull back and forth anytime she's due to have a baby. And since she is due to have a baby we now have to pull her tummy back in so she's ready and now a whole 30 minutes has gone past and they are she's finished pushing the child <laughs> we have a girl we have a girl so this is good this is the first time I've actually had a girl uh, by natural means in the game um, so Jade is not the name we're going for we're going for the nuts and so this baby should be called Coco uh, after the coconut we have pecan nut we have almond nut, we have hazelnut, and so the girls have nut names, and that doesn't mean that they are nut cases or nut crackers either. <laughs> but we have Coco, and we're going to welcome her to the family, and what I will do is get Mama to interact with her and get Dada to interact with the little boy, and this should be fun. So it's only 57 minutes, and let's see, where is he? He is so cute, he's so handsome. <laughs> We're going to get him to interact with his boy, uh, which is good. I will obviously, you know, work through the actions quicker so that in a matter of a couple of minutes, we should be done with this interaction. And then I will be hosting a studio party. So do pop by. I'm going to see if the coin glitch still works and I'm hoping it will. And if it does, you'll find out in the next episode. And this house should be filled with a ton of Sims that are obviously unplayable, at which point I will retire Hazel and patron so it's fair both Pekin and Icon's parents are all retired and they are the sims that I will hold on to for life <laughs> at least I hope so and that's why it's a hundred baby challenge because I'm hoping that oh look at that glitch I think it's because a sim walks by with Izzy's outfit I find that when they have an ambiance it causes glitching around furniture pieces just look under that dresser Okay, I think that the rainbow ambience from the action between Icon and Don is causing that glitchy effect. Let's just see if it happens again out here. Yeah, there's a there's a rainbow ambience that causes that. So it is a challenge, as I say, because that icon pops up every now and again. <laughs> Did I say icon? 
<laughs> or a balloon pops up that says retire sim and if you tap on it there's no warning if you tap on it that's it you've retired the sim and i'm hoping that icon and pecan would give me a hundred babies before that happens and if they don't retire before then i'll keep pushing for more babies from them and i'll hold on to these sims for as long as possible so wish me luck with that okay I just came back into my game after recording and realized that this glitch is still working. So I came back in and I realized that I was only at level 1 actually, nothing had happened. I was at level 1 in the party and this just popped up and said the party is no longer valid, network error 400. And I'm following the same steps I did before by tugging my screen from the top part to reveal just an inch of the new screen and a ton of coins is pouring in. I've gone from about 5,000 coins or thereabout to a 6,000 and, and, and above. So for those of you who keep asking, is it still working? Yes, it is. This is the third time round I'm launching a party and there's an error with that. So this glitch is attached to parties. I'm not sure how it works, but you just have to have a party and here you go. Um, there's an error and the money keeps pouring in. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm going to see how much I can make in the next 10 hours that are left and I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye.